I know every situation is different, but would you consider a cruiser or a sport bike more dangerous for a beginner? Now, the first thing that, that pops in my head is that the power delivery, like how cruisers kind of more on the upper end. You know what I mean? Sport bikes, you just barely twist it. You can go crazy. Yeah. Okay, you explain more. <clears throat> Shut up. No, I mean, you're right. You got to be pretty savvy. The The different thing is, is that, I mean, so from the tor- from from the cruiser aspect, you run into a torque issue, you know, like they still, even if you barely crack the throttle, they got, they have torque, you know, and they'll move. Not my Sportster when it was stock. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they still have some torque though. Like yeah. if we're still kind of, you know, if we're looking at it from both ways, you still got to learn both sides of things where the, where the sport bikes really run into an issue is that nachos, um, if you keep fucking pulling the throttle, like you, then the, then you're going to do a wheelie and die. So, you know, <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> you're going to do a wheelie gonna, and die. Guy. Uh, so it, the sport bikes are so light and they're so powerful that it's just harder to, um, it's harder to make mistakes and, and be okay. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like you can make a mistake on a sport bike and it'll flat out kill you immediately. Whereas you can make a, a mistake on a, a cruiser to me and you don't have, you, you don't have as much like uh, risk. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like it doesn't take, you can hop out, of, you haven't ridden sport bikes. So if you hop out on a, like a super sport bike, like a nasty fucking machine and you hit it, 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 it'll get you tight. Like you're, you know, like you'll be, uh, you'll, you'll be nervous. Like it'll be, uh, and where you do that on a cruiser, and, um, you know, there's, uh, it just seems like there's so much less, uh, room for, you know, mistakes on a sport bike than there, there's a cruiser to me anyway. I mean, you got a longer, but uh, you still have to learn both of them on a sport bike, the, the, the trail and everything, all those fancy terms are a little bit shorter. So it's easier to do the wheelie. And yeah. The, you're heavier with with the yeah. cruisers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so cruisers are probably better for beginners because at the end of the day, you learn the clutch, you learn the throttle and all that stuff the same as yeah, a cruiser. I mean, but that goes back to our our video about beginners motorcycles, where you can buy like a God. I mean, they you know the CBR 300 mm-hmm. or Gixxer 250. It's weird. Fucking Suzuki waited five years to come out with an entry level bike, and then it's a 250 cc <laughs> when everyone else is doing 300s. They're <laughs> fucking dumb as shit anyway um but yeah you have so you know, yamaha and kawasaki they're all doing 300 so if you're the sport bike guy you like the sport bike style you can do that or you can do like the down tuned 600 cc versions you know what i mean like with the not the super sports but the like the entry level sport bike type feel and then you start to get used to it that way um, so you can't just say, Hey, cruisers are going to be the way to go. If you're scared as shit of dying, you could go both ways, but there's uh, if you, if you hop into the super sport market, like the R six or Jixer 750 or, you know, the S 1000 RR, like if you go that route, you better be prepared because they'll absolutely kill you. Yeah. Um, so that'd be freaky as shit. Yeah. Sure would. I kind of like, and not like watching those videos of of people like getting on a bike and then like whiskey throttling it. Oh, I love those videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go freaking crazy. Their legs fly out boring. back and then they, <laughs> the wheel goes up. They're like, Oh this shit. We are. Yeah. Anyways, I think it's funny. Uh, do, 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 do. So, <laughs>